Okay, lovely people. What you're looking at is, to look to the right here. It says thread angle. All right, then you have the root, the crest, all this other fancy stuff on it. But all I care about is I want you to remember this thread angle. It's usually about 60 degrees, six zero degrees. Um, sometimes a little, little, little more. But this is the screw part. And over here, we're looking at the inside of a nut. All right, this is the, so you, you know with a nut, you have the opposite of this, right? But look, look at the, the shiny part. The shiny part is what's engaging the screw to your right. Let's call that screw and let's call this the nut. As you can see, this is the top, the very top, the crest. The crest is not engaging. The crest would be engaging down the bottom here. What's engaging is the uh, thread angle is rubbing. And you can see the crest, the rotated, is not engaging. So the, and you can see how much of it is engaging. So this is the part that's, that matters. This is the part where you get your surface, your, your, uh, your torque, things like part of one of the locations you're getting a torque and engagement, engagement there. All right. So now let's go to the screw, the opposite of this screw, the, 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 uh, this is literally the screw and that nut that was working together. And let's go to the back end of it where it was not engaged. So what I'm going to teach you here is that first, it's kind of shiny at the bottom at the crest. Not, not much scaling built right here where my mouse is, not much scaling built up there. So you have this shininess that's by default, it's still there. So we won't count that. Um, as we slide down the shininess, you have to discount some of it. Again, this, there is no engagement back here. The th if we look at this inside here, you see this part here would be the angle to your right. That's the thread angle. And it looks like that. And as we look at the top, the very crest, it's kind of uh, shitty, etc. Go to the very end where you screw the nut on, right? Now all of a sudden, we start getting a little more presents as shiny, right? It presents as shiny. Well, bear, bear with me. And then we watch, we'll look at it at the top here and follow it down. And you like, I don't know, sorry about that. Let's turn it on an angle to help you visualize it even better. Now this is freehand, so bear with me for a second. Now I want you to look at the angle. The thread angle is here. All right, this is out of focus. I uh, can't focus everything with this microscope. So that's the thread angle. You see some scaling here. Oh, now look. The scaling all of a sudden starts to disappear. Let me just give you a little more lighting if I can. Oops. All right. So I can give you more lighting. We went the wrong direction on that. And now you see that where the engagement is, is on the thread angle. And you can see that how when you crank the screw in, it turns down, and as it turns down into the, uh, the nut rather, turns down into the screw, or the screw turns into the nut, vice versa. You can see how the threading happens. This threading, of course, creates uh, uh, shearing into the metal. This metal, shearing this metal creates your galling. Your materials can gall. The, the, which one is softer depends, but the, uh, which where the galling is gonna go. It's usually the screw is softer than the nut. The nut is more stable. So initially you see here that you're getting no galling here. And then the first thread, this is the first, or the starter if you will, and then the first thread a little bit. Now we get an engagement. All right, you can see it, and then engagement, and then engagement, and I can tell you that this nut was engaged right back to there, and then he stopped it. Right about the edge there is a little bit of galling. And then no, no further back did the screw, the nut or the screw come in contact with each other as you can see by the material evaluation this way. Looking at this, now we can turn the screw around, rotating it, and we can see how the quality of the screw and nut together, how the quality, we're looking for um, the pattern to be the same. Let's just do a 180 real quickly. And we see over here, there's a little bit more um, depth to it. Let me turn it this way. So screws and nuts have a torque um, um, when they come in, when they when they marry each other, they do have a torque that's that's more 
uh, at one spot on that screw than the rest. Um, at least that's what I found with my um, um, material behavior inspections is that you can find that hot spot, hot spot that's more engaged than the rest. Sorry, I know it's a little shaky. Let me move, let me rotate it a bit and bring it back in. Okay. So we have more of looking to the right, thread angle engagement. Let me focus it for you. So I don't want you to get carried away with, with the, uh, with too much here. This screw and this nut behave in this capacity. And depending on how much torque you have and clamp force, I can go back in there and look at it and go, okay, you got some really deep gouges here. You're going to have some really, some galling and some material removal, obviously material removal in this uh, thread angle. That, that becomes part of your material, your problem with your galling action. As we look down into it, we can see it, and let's go to the top. You can see again that th it wasn't engaged there. Let me just clean that up a bit. You can see it wasn't engaged, and that's just scaling. That's great. And then as I slide down, you start to see the little bit of engagement, and then you see that all the work is pretty much being done by one, two, and three. This is doing a little bit of work. But these are all engaged. And this one's just slightly. Just ever so slightly. Let me come in with a little focus again. Ever so slightly. Now, looking at the depth, you can tell you which one's engaging, which one's holding more, um, doing more of the work. So let me see if I can do this for you. So this one is not that deep. All right. So this isn't doing most of the work. Now there is this one. So between, it's these three right here that are doing most of the work. And if they're doing it together uniformly like this is, keeping the stress on, the fracture would happen there about there, tearing it off and your nut and your screw would separate right about there. This is where the anchor point is, if you will, where your one anchor is there, the other anchor is on the other end, the screw stretches until the failure happens right there because there's a lot of stress um, in the uh, thread angle here that allows it to rip it off, shear it off. It's transferring the load from here to the screw. From here, this is the entire screw, but from the thread angle down to the down to the uh, major uh, minor uh, shank, minor shank, minor. Diameter, sorry guys, you guys know this is shank. So major diameter is out here to here, minor is here to here. Looking at what we just observed, you would say it came down here, right about there, and that would be equal on that side as we rotate around. We would count three of them, it was back to here, and then the last one it was starting to engage was right about here. So we got one, two, and three, so most of our stress is right anchoring. This is all an anchor nut, so our anchor is here. And then it rips it, it keeps rotating and it rips it off or stress is too much. And it rips it, tear, tears it from that location. So hopefully this is helpful for you. Um, shout out to the Bolt Depot for sending me materials. This one is on me, but um, I thought I'd show you that. You know what, while I'm here, let me see if I can show you the, uh, 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 what a nylon bushing, no, I don't want to confuse or, or add different things to the video. So let's do that. Let's leave it at that. So you can see this matters. Not you're not touching down. This comes up short. This uh, what they call a major diameter right here. They come across the uh, threads. This is usually knocked down. So the major diameter is really back here. And then you have your a secondary major diameter of the of the thread the threads here. Um, they're usually not exactly the same here and here. Uh, and then we have our, again, the thread angle, 60, 60 degrees or so. Um, and that stress, as you saw it, is what you, is what you saw, what you observed. The crest is not doing, not doing much work at all. The crest would bottom out here, but remember, we knock, you knock it down. So when knocking it down, this doesn't touch base. Like the saw, reach out, touch base, it does not. 
So the fracture is uh, the stress is here, and it rips right at the um, from the root right across the root. As you see, it rotational shearing is what I call it. it shears it off. Take care. I love you guys. Hopefully, this is helpful. Again, shout out to the Bolt Depot. You guys can order from them directly online. They're very fast shipping, and they're pretty cool. I get a lot of stuff from them. Take care.